Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rave the day I bring you guys the challenge series for this week. It is just basically boots on the ground, I guess you could call it. It's the OG COD 4. Well, that's actually what the challenge is. It's the COD 4 challenge. Now, I have three classes here for Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. This week, we're having a challenge series. I know last week we didn't get to have one, unfortunately, and then I decided, you know what, I just want to. I just kind of thought of this challenge off my head. So we have three classes, like I said. All of them were kind of replicating a class from COD 4. So, the CUDA is representing the MP5 from COD 4. This thing was a monster, okay? It was almost like an assault rifle, and it had really good range. Now, the iron sights kind of remind me of the CUDA, and like I said, it was a monster at range. It was just a beast of a weapon. So I put it on long barrel because it was basically an assault rifle. Now you always had a semi-auto pistol as your secondary and you always had lethals and tacticals. Now I decided to throw on a frag and two concussions. The perk one, there's really nothing in here that made me think, eh, you know what, that could be related to COD 4. Um, in COD 4 there were no such thing as counter AVs, power cores, EMPs, uh, just like none of that stuff, no trip mines, no shock charges. Um, there was C4, but for the most part, all of these things weren't in COD 4, so we don't have to worry about those. And score streaks were a lot easier to get. And also for perk three, we used Dead Silence because they had Dead Silence in that game. They also had something that was somewhat like awareness. I think it was called Eavesdrop. But basically, if you're close to enemies, you could hear their conversations and you may say you know what Ray that's kind of close to six cents if they're close to you you could hear that little ping of where they're at and I guess you could do that but I didn't want to uh, just because I feel like it would give me a little bit more of an advantage and then for the camo that we are using is the ardent camo because it kind of looks like the good old red tiger for class 2 we have the XR2 which is Reminding me of the M16. So it's a three round burst. And back then, the real thing that you wanted on that was just a sight. You didn't want a suppressor or anything like that. You just wanted a reflex sight on it. So that's what we have. That's our only attachment. Once again, semi auto and the perks I don't really need to go through. And then for the KN44, it reminds me of the AK47. And if you look, it has the gold camo. Because you could actually get this weapon gold. And usually what I would run on it would just be suppressor. Um, if you look for this one, I think I'm going to get rid of long barrel and give myself an extra tactical. Um, because, you know, even pistols were a lot better back then. They had better range. But anyways, I just put suppressor on it because that's what I would run in COD 4. Um, everything else is the same. So let's go ahead and get you guys a gameplay. But real quick, the score streaks, UAV because you had that. Uh, for the five kill streak, you would have mortar fire. Instead, I just uh, decided, you know what? Lightning strikes the closest thing to mortar fire, and then for your seven, you would get the wraith. The wraith was mean. It was uh, it was actually an attack helicopter they would call it, but that's basically what it was. Is a wraith. Um, that's the modern version of it, and it would go off. So that's what we're using for my specialist. I just use combat focus. Your streaks were a lot easier to get back then. But anyways, we're gonna go find your uh we're gonna go find you guys a gameplay and see you there. Okay, so what's going on guys? It's Ray and yeah, kinda back again with this challenge series for the COD 4 challenge. I'm very, very, very excited for it. You know, I think that I could do more with it now that I'm thinking about it. Like not only could I do a COD 4 challenge, I could do a Lord at War challenge. You know, I could say, like, for this map, hang on, for this map, let's use Rakuda. Okay, but I could say, like, for World at War, if we get the HG-40, oh yeah, we are definitely, definitely doing it. Okay, so they're kind of camping out there. We're gonna wait. 
He was kind of laggy. Build a teammate boosting, I think. I hope we're gonna flank. Good job, teammates. The Kuda needs to die and give me his ammo. Okay, I don't like this spot. I they're gonna start spawning back here. Okay, let's call this in real quick. I don't know if we'll get anybody with that. Oh my god, we got a triple. There you go. Wow, we just got a wreath. Sorry that we jumped a little bit there. It was just like kind of a natural reaction. I would have been really mad if I die there. Okay, that was pretty good use of that combat focus, I'd say. That was a bad concussion. Oh yeah, I already threw one. I already threw a concussion, I'm smart. Okay. Hey, buddy. Watch out, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> uh. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay, Wraith. Doing good. Close to another one of you. And I'm scared now. Run. No. Dang it. Oh my. Dang it. He had the wheel. Okay. We're still doing really good though. Man, we were wall banging there. I need my teammates to move out with me. Dude, I... I don't know why I just called you guys, dude. But I could have gotten away with using the war machine in this challenge. I could have gotten away with using a lot of things on this one. Just depending on how far I stretch the challenge. Like I could have said overdrive uh, because back then it was kind of slower Call of Duty. We're getting a lot of assists. Okay, I don't know where I just called in. Where I just called it in. That was just kind of an unlucky one. Okay, there we go. We got us a Kuda. Cool. I mean, we've had a Kuda, but some Kuda ammo. Okay, so we're close to a second Wraith. I don't think it'll do us too much good. Right, we're already crushing it. But we'll just call it in anyways. A little extra firepower. Actually, a lot of extra firepower. Oh, this thing had a little bit of recoil. Ooh. I think my race just saved me. Wow. <laughs> we went off that game. We choked one set of streaks. Well, we choked the Wraith once, but we still did really good, guys. Wow. Um, 
So yeah, that is episode one of the COD4 challenge. I'd say we yeah. we did successful with it. We got a really good gameplay. We went 33 and 3. Illuminati confirmed, maybe, because there's three sides to a triangle. There's three threes. Oh my goodness. Must be a double agent for the Illuminati. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this challenge series. If you are, pimp slap that like button and subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. You know, if you guys are going to try this challenge out. You know, it's definitely a little bit of a challenge, but it's like one of those fun challenges because you can get good gameplays with this as well. It's kind of like bringing me back to COD 4. So, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, you know, just let me know somehow. Whether it's a sub, or a like, or a comment. Just let me know, and I will be sure to get back with you guys. So, see you guys in a few days. Peace out.